What's up, YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are having an awesome day. It is very hot and it is very humid out today, but that is not stopping us from reviewing the 2022 Subaru Outback Wilderness Edition. Huge thank you to Mike C over at Stallman Subaru of Sterling, Virginia for allowing me to do this review for you guys today. If you guys are interested in this particular Subaru Outback or any Subaru product, I'll be sure to have Mike's information on screen as well as in the description box down below. But with that said, let's get into the video. Before we get into the exterior and performance part of this review, I'd greatly appreciate it if you guys would hit that subscribe button as well as give this video a big thumbs up. You guys giving this video a big thumbs up helps my channel in the YouTube algorithm and YouTube will promote my videos more, the more likes, comments, and subscriptions that I get. So I'd greatly appreciate it if you guys would do that. But with that said, let's move into the exterior and performance. And like I said, this is a 2022 Subaru Outback Wilderness Edition. And this particular one is painted in crystal black silica which i think looks super super sweet with these satin black accents but let's start over here at our headlights because we do have led headlights with high beam assist as well as led daytime running lights and at the bottom of the front bumper is where you'll find your led fog lights so the wilderness edition is actually new for the outback for 2022 with the wilderness edition you do get a satin black honeycomb grill which we'll take a look at right here give you guys a better view of it and at the center of that honeycomb grill is where you'll find your subaru emblem just below your subaru emblem is where you'll find your 180 degree forward facing camera so if you guys are coming up on some difficult obstacles and you can't really see over the hood just press the button on the interior and your forward facing camera will pop up i'll show you guys that when we move into the interior part of this review. But you also do get a unique front bumper in satin black with integrated toe points that are covered by these copper color accents. They look really sweet on the satin black as well as the black. With that front bumper, you also do get extended lower cladding that offers extra protection from shrubbery around the wheel wells as well as lower impact zones. So if you guys are driving through stuff like this and you got like little bushes and stuff like that, you have like this satin black plastic that you don't have to worry about scratching whereas if this was in that black silica paint it would scratch the paint and it wouldn't look too good after running off road and this kind of stuff so pretty cool that subaru offers that uh, but you also do get a front skid plate below all of this down here and that does come standard with the wilderness edition uh, while we are down here, let's talk about ground clearance because this does have nine and a half inches of ground clearance, which is 0.8 inches more than the standard Outback. So if you guys, like I said, are the outdoorsy types of people, you guys are definitely going to want to take a look at the wilderness because you get more ground clearance, knobbier tires, and, you know, just a rugged exterior look. It looks super, super sleek. But the wilderness also does come with these 17 inch matte black wheels that are wrapped in 225 65 yokohama geolander all-terrain tires give you guys a view of that tread pattern you also do get a front independent suspension as well as a rear independent suspension and these are off-road tuned shocks just to the right of your wheel well body cladding is where you'll find your subaru wilderness badge on your front two doors so you get one on your driver's side door and one on the other front passenger door just above that is where you'll find your satin black mirror caps with integrated led turn signal and your blind spot monitoring is on the inner side of the mirror so right here is where you will read your blind spot monitoring you also do have one on the passenger side view mirror as well but this particular Outback Wilderness does have the $282 auto dimming side view mirror. So if you guys do want the auto dimming side view mirror, that is a $282 option. At the top of the Outback is where you'll find your high capacity fixed roof rails with copper accents, which can hold up to 220 pounds when in motion and up to 700 pounds while stationary. So you can put one of those roof rack mounted tents on top of this Outback. Uh, but just know it supports up to 700 pounds when stationary and 220 pounds when moving. There is your copper color accent on the roof rail. Another one on the back here. Got your shark fin antenna at the rear end of the roof. This does have keyless access. So all you got to do is have your key pop in your pocket. Walk up to the vehicle, put your hand behind here. The vehicle will unlock. If you guys want it to lock, slide your hand across here and the vehicle will lock. You get some more of that satin black body cladding at the bottom of the passenger doors. Outback is in that 
orange copper color. It looks super, super sleek, and it just pops on this black paint, as well as that satin black body cladding. Some more body cladding around these wheel wells back here. Those are your 17 inch wheels. And uh, while we are at the back, let's talk about these LED taillights. So you do get LED taillights, and just below your LED taillights is where you'll find your reflector. Same thing goes for on the passenger side as well. So just like the front, this also does have high clearance rear bumpers that are also in satin black. And in your high clearance rear bumpers is where you'll find your rear view sensor. So you got one right there, one right here, here, and here. You also do get two tow points in the rear that are behind these copper color accents as well. One right there and one right there. Pop those off and that is where you'll find your tow points. All of the emblems and stuff back here besides the Subaru emblem are in satin black. So Subaru, satin black, symmetrical all-wheel drive, also in satin black. Outback, also in satin black. Just below Outback, it says Subaru Wilderness. So you got another. So you have about three of those Subaru Wilderness badges on this vehicle. One is on the power lift gate and the two are on the front passenger two doors. Another Subaru emblem at the center of your lift gate. So pressing on that emblem will open up your power lift gate. And uh, while we're back here, let's take a look because you do have all weather floor mats back here that are in rubber and they say Outback. Right over here, you have a 12 volt power outlet. Whatever you want to charge, you can do that. You get a hook right here for your groceries. You have another hook over here for your groceries if that's what you want to put. You also do just in front of these hooks have door handle type looking things. So if I pull down or if I pull back, excuse me, on this door handle, those second row seats will drop. Same thing goes for this side as well. But I want to show you guys something that has to do with the seat backs on these seats. So let me open up the door, put my hand behind here, press on the unlock button. And now my rear seats are unlocked. So if you guys, like I said, are the outdoorsy types of people and you have dogs and you put your dogs in your trunk, let's say you take your dogs for a little walk or something, they go into the river and then they're all itchy after the walk, you put them in the vehicle and they're rubbing up all against your seat back, you don't have to worry about that because these are waterproof seat backs. So if you guys really wanted to, you could really spray this off and uh, you know scrub it down with some Dawn dish soap or whatever and not have to worry about it because the seat backs are waterproof. So that's really, really cool. So if you have a dog, um, that's definitely a nice thing to have uh, because you won't have to worry about it getting all musty and disgusting and stuff like that because it is, well, waterproof. So very good amount of storage space back here. Actually, on one more thing, I guess I'll show you guys with these seats down. I don't know why I just folded them up is that you can sleep in a sleeping bag back here. At least I could I'm five foot nine and I could definitely sleep back here. It's all flat. Um, so you could sleep either in here or on your rooftop tent. So whatever you want to do, you want to sleep on top. You can do that. If you want to sleep in here with the AC on, you could do that as well. Uh, but if you guys don't want people to see what is uh, or what kind of cargo you have back here, pull back on this right here and uh, you can put this right here. And now when you have your trunk closed, nobody can see what kind of cargo you have in your trunk. If you guys don't care, pull back on this and let that thing retract. And uh, now you can see what is in your trunk. So whatever you want to do, a little bit of storage space over here with a cargo net, a little bit more storage space over here with no cargo net. Lifting this up, you will find your spare tire as well as your jack and a tow hook. But closing that, very good amount of storage space back here. You have a dome light right here for lighting this stuff up at night. Or if you have this closed, you can turn the dome light and see what kind of cargo you got. But Pushing this button right here will drop the power lift gate. And just below your Subaru emblem is where you will find your rear view camera. Um, so this does have a rear view camera as well as a forward facing camera. So that is pretty cool. There is your exhaust exit right over here on the driver's side. But look at all that um, ground clearance here at the rear end. So you could go off uh, a pretty steep angle and not really have to worry about scraping your rear bumper. You got an exhaust exit right here and another exhaust exit on the passenger side as well. This does have the $192 splash guards. You got one behind all four wheels. So that's about it for 
the ax outside of the Subaru Outback. Let me know what you guys think of the Outback Wilderness Edition in the comment section down below. I'm very curious to hear what you guys think. I think this thing is pretty dang sweet because it looks like an SUV, but it still has that station wagon look to it. So that is really, really cool. Uh, but like I said, let me know what you guys think of the Wilderness Edition in the comment section down below. I think it's great for the outdoorsy types of people, the adventurous people, the people who have dogs. Uh, and they don't want to get into a vehicle that's just going to get gross after a while after you let your wet dog and stuff this is the vehicle for you but with all that said let's move into performance popping open that hood reveals that 2.4 liter turbocharged boxer four cylinder that makes 260 horsepower and 277 pound feet of torque it is made it to a continuously variable transmission for a zero to 60 time in 5.8 seconds all wilderness editions do come standard with all-wheel drive so if you guys were wondering about fuel economy you can achieve 22 miles per gallon in the city 26 miles per gallon on the highway for 24 miles per gallon combined but if you guys are enjoying the video so far today please give this video a big thumbs up please hit that subscribe button and leave a comment in the comment section down below like i said earlier on in the video all the likes all the comments all the subscriptions really help me and my channel grow and i greatly appreciate it if you guys would do that i'd love to do this as a full-time job so you guys are just helping me make my dream come true but with all that out of the way let's move into the interior all right guys moving into the interior this vehicle does have keyless access so all you got to do is walk up to the vehicle with your key fob in your pocket put your hand behind the door handle and the vehicle will unlock if you guys want to lock the vehicle with your key fob in your pocket, you might be able to notice you have two hash marks right here. Slide your finger across there and the vehicle will lock. You guys can see it is locked. Put your hand behind here again and the vehicle will unlock. Let's take a look at the door panel right here because you do have a leather wrapped door panel, at least on this part right here, as well as on your armrest. So talking about your armrest, you do have a nicely padded armrest with some accent colored stitching, automatic up and down windows at all four corners, which is really, really sweet on a vehicle like this. You have some faux carbon fiber type trim around your aluminum door handle. Right down here, you will find your mirror control. So I might stand up right here this is where you'll find your mirror controls just below your mirror controls are your unlock and lock buttons and right down here this will lock your passenger side windows good amount of storage space down here but i mean i gotta be honest it's not a ton but you can't fit a deer park water bottle right here moving into the interior let's take a look at these seats because you have tons and tons of side bolstering looks really really sweet this is the gray interior you got some accent colored stitching subaru wilderness embossed into your headrests on both front seats really really cool this seat material is called startex so it's not like a leather but it feels like a leather it looks like a leather but it is not a leather and i'm not sure if the gopro is going to pick it up like right here it, you have like a honeycomb type of design which really resembles what you would find on like the front grill so it looks pretty sweet it's kind of cool that they followed through with that honeycomb design on the front grill to your seating you do have a power adjustable front driver seat as well as a power adjustable front passenger seat but let's step into the interior take a look at these all-weather floor mats because you got some cool like rugged type of design right here look like mountains and stuff Subaru wilderness at the center of your floor mats yeah you really beautiful pedals down here they look super super sporty you got the aluminum with some rubber looks really really sweet and kind of reminds me of what you would find on like a WRX STI right over here this is your power lift gate button so if i press that the power lift gate will open up this dial right here controls the brightness of your backlit buttons as well as your analog speedometer and rpm gauge right over here i believe this turns off your hands-free lift gate but pushing my foot on the brake make sure i have a key fob in the interior and you can push to start uh, it's super super hot outside so i would like to have some air conditioning uh, but Let's take a look at the steering wheel because you do have a leather wrapped steering wheel with some accent colored stitching. It's like that copper accent colored stitching. You got some copper trim at the bottom of the steering wheel. Subaru emblem at the center of the steering wheel. Right over here, you got your volume controls as well as you can press which source you wanna to go to. You can speak to the vehicle. You can pick up on a phone call. You can hang up on a phone call. Right over here, you got your cruise control stuff. Right down here, you can go in between your um, screen right up top here. So let's start up top here. You got a compass, you got your tire pressure gauge, you have your trip information, you got some other trip information stuff, more trip information, more uh, average fuel economy stuff. Uh, ambient exterior temperature, it's 91 degrees outside. And just above that, you will find your clock. 
to keep going down. That is what the radio station that I am on. So that is your audio information. Right on the left-hand side is where you'll find your analog RPM gauge. And on the outer ring of your analog RPM gauge, you have some more copper accents. It looks super, super sleek. And same thing goes for around your analog speedometer. That is your fuel gauge right over here. That is your coolant temperature right down there. That is lets us know that we are in park. Automatic stop start is off. Digital speedometer right up top there. That lets us know that we are on traction control off. That lets us know that our headlights are on. And that is our odometer. Let's take a listen to this horn. <laughs> So that's what the horn sounds like. Let's take a listen to the turn signal. So on your turn signal stock, you also do have your high beams as well as your headlights. So right now this is headlights on, twist this down, that is daytime running lights on. Twist it down one more time, that's headlights automatic. Twist it down all the way and that is your headlights always off. Let's leave them on headlights automatic. Right over here, this is where you'll find your LED fog lights on or off. So if I twist up, my LED fog lights turn on. Twist down, my LED fog lights turn off. Push forward, that turns my high beams on. Pull back, that turns my high beams off. This does have automatic high beams like I mentioned when we were on the exterior part of the review. But you got your windshield wiper stocks. If I pull back, that will wash the front windshield. If I push forward on it, that will wash the rear windshield right down there, push button start. And just to the right of your push button start, is where you will find your 11.6 inch Starlink infotainment system with navigation as well as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. This vehicle has a couple options. So first option being the $1,845 option package 22, which includes that Starlink 11.6 inch infotainment system with navigation. You also do get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, like I mentioned, but also what's included in that package includes three years free of the update program as well as this power moonroof and reverse automatic braking so all those three things are included in option package 22 this also does have the 152 dollar rear seat back protector which is this stuff right here this is the 152 dollar rear seat back protector you also do get a 98 dollar cargo sidewall protector which is what that is over there and the same thing on that side as well you also do get that 76 dollar sunshade which is that right there here is your moonroof so that comes with option package 22 but let's go back down to here and let's talk about this 11.6 inch infotainment system so here are all your different apps so you got your navigation stuff right there radio information here you can go through your media which is like bluetooth audio and stuff like that you go through your car information uh let me go back let me go right back to where i wanted to be uh car information stubru starlink my subaru settings swipe over here you can add a shortcut if you want to do that this is where you can turn automatic stop start on or off so if i press that it turns off press that again and it is back on um, you can go through your different profiles right here you can add a profile do whatever you want to do this is your home button if i click up here that will bring me into my different radio station so i can see i'm 98.7 this is another view you can go back or forward so if i go forward you are switching between um, your different you know radio stations and stuff like that but if i go into radio that will bring me into this screen where i got my different presets hd radio is on uh, but let's go back to this radio station here because that's what i want you can also go into am or sirius xm go back into fm click on the home button so yeah that's what you can do up top here another thing that also has to do with this screen is at the bottom of the screen is where you'll find your climate control stuff um, so you do have heated seats with three levels of adjustability so you can have boom 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 three levels of adjustability same thing goes for this front passenger as well right here you've got your fan control so i can turn the fan all the way up turn the fan all the way down Clicking on this will bring you into your climate control stack. X out of that, that'll bring you back into here. You can lower or raise the temperature on the uh, both sides of the screen. So this is a dual zone climate control system. Turning this button on will turn on your rear window defroster as well as your heated exterior side view mirror. So that's what that button does right here. This will turn on your front defroster. Volume knob right here, tuning knob over here. This lets you know if your passenger airbag is on or off. Hazard button right here, let's take a listen. So that's your hazard button. HVAC vent here, HVAC vent there, there, and over there as well. You got a great spot to set your phone if you are the passenger. Let's open up the glove box. It is a locking glove box and you have tons 
of storage space down in there. That's actually more storage space, I think, than even like in a Yukon or a Tahoe. So that is pretty interesting, honestly, that there's that much storage space in this Subaru Outback. Right down here is where you'll find your electronic parking brake pull up that will turn the electronic parking brake on, let you know that it is on because it lights up in red. Push down on that and it turns it right back off. Pull back on this, um, you got two USB A ports as well as an auxiliary jack in another spot. You can set your phone down in here if that's what you want to do. Go back into park. One thing I really like about like this gear shifter is that it's very, very notchy. Um, so we got park, reverse, neutral, drive, and I flip it over right here. You go into manual mode. So this is a continuously variable transmission, but you have like an eight speed manual mode that you can upshift or downshift through. Uh, but just keep in mind, it is a continuously variable transmission, but it can pretend to be like an eight speed uh, manual transmission. Well, manual automatic transmission, if that makes sense. So throw it back into park. You get some piano black trim at the top of the gear shifter and just below your piano black trim is where you'll find some copper trim. Right down here, you have your shift leather with some more copper accent colored stitching. Copper accent colored stitching on the dash, copper accent colored stitching on the seats and stuff like that, which I already pointed out. Two cup holders right here, opening this up, you have a spot where you could set your phone. Uh, lifting this up, you have a little bit of storage space down here as well as a 12 volt power outlet. Uh, closing that, that is what your center fold down armrest looks like. You get some more copper accent colored stitching, a very nicely padded armrest. Um, but let's move up to here. So you do have a vanity mirror with two vanity lights opening this up This does slide backwards so you can block the Sun a lot of German car brands do not have something that will slide back like that you Got a great spot to set your sunglasses in here got your SOS button another info button right there This it's like a slider so you can either have your lights turn on when you open up the doors Which is what happens right now? However, if I twist this thing or push this thing to the right when I open up my door the interior lights will not turn on So that's that um, So pulling this back right here will open up my power moonroof Pushing forward on it will close my power moonroof And one thing that you can do is if I push up on this that will tilt the power moonroof So it goes like that push forward on that again and uh, that will close that part of the tilt function closing that and now it's like you have no power moonroof over here you got another vanity mirror with two vanity lights universal garage door opener at the bottom of your auto dimming rear view mirror on the upper right hand corner of your auto dimming rear view mirror is where you will find your compass um yeah one thing i wanted to mention is just how comfortable that these seats are very very comfortable you got tons and tons of side bolstering uh, which is very very good for somebody like me I'm not super thick um, five foot nine but these seats fit me very very well I do want to open up my laptop here real quick and I want to read along um, some of the safety features that this Outback does have um, so pretty much all Outback Wilderness has come pretty much fully loaded but there are just a couple options uh, that you can add onto it just like that 11.6 inch multimedia navigation system as well as the exterior auto dimming mirror I'll put the window sticker on screen right now so you guys can read with me this also does have the optional splash guards the rear seat back protector cargo sidewall protector the sunshade and the LED upgrade for the dome lights so some of the safety features that I want to read with you guys right now include the symmetrical all-wheel drive with vehicle dynamics control as well as eyesight driver assist system with automatic emergency braking, advanced adaptive cruise control with lane centering, lane departure and sway warning, that 180 degree front view monitor, which is the front view camera, as well as rear vision camera with guidelines. So talking about that front view camera, uh, if you come over here just to the right of your gear shifter and I push on this, this will pop up the forward facing camera. So that is where you'll find your forward facing camera. Just above your forward facing camera, you have your X modes, uh, which are like your different traction control modes. So you have your snow slash dirt mode, as well as if I go all the way to the right, you have your deep snow slash mud. Um, so that is deep snow slash mud. Uh, basically like controls the level of the traction control. So yeah, those are your different X modes. So if I go back home actually, and I go into settings over here, uh, you can go through your different settings right here, blah, blah, blah. You can go to your sound settings, navigation settings, um, right over here, phone, car, radio, all that different kind of stuff. 
one thing I can do is that if I go into here and I click on car, and I click on car again, it will bring you into your vehicle control as well as your driver assistance and other stuff. Um, so you get your cruise control stuff, auto vehicle hold, you can turn that on or off. So if you're stuck in traffic and I have this on, it will hold the vehicle in place uh, when I let off of the brake. If I turn this back off, it will not hold the vehicle in place when I let off of the brake. Steering, responsive headlights. So if I twist the steering wheel to the left, the headlights will also point to the left. If I twist them to the right, they will go to the right. So that's a pretty sweet thing. Auto stop start on or off. You can do that right there. Driver assistance, you can go into turn these on or off. You can basically customize it how you want it to be uh, as well as that kind of stuff. But back to what kind of safety stuff this does have. You also do get blind spot detection with rear cross traffic alert, anti-lock brakes, four wheel anti-lock ABS disc brakes with brake assist, Subaru advanced frontal airbag system, driver knee airbag, passenger seat cushion airbags, side curtain airbags, rollover sensor, seat side airbags as well, front and rear passenger seatbelt warning with light and chime, latch system for child safety seats, rear seat reminder, anti-theft alarm and immobilizer system, brake override system. Um, so while I have the window sticker on screen right now for you guys to read, let's talk about the MSRP of this particular Outback Wilderness Edition. So the MSRP of this particular Subaru Outback is $41,570. Let me know what you guys think of that price in the comment section down below. Uh, you get pretty much a fully loaded Outback for that price that can go off-road. It's got a little bit more ground clearance than the other Outbacks and it looks super, super sweet. So like I said, let me know what you guys think of that price in the comment section down below. I do want to move into those rear seats. So let's open up the door, press the unlock button right there. And uh, let's move into these rear seats. I know I'm gonna have to fold them back up because I folded them down. So let's fold them up right there. Step in and I'll fold these seats up as well. And uh, I'm adjusted behind myself. I think I actually moved this seat back further uh, just to make it a little bit more comfortable for me to write stuff down. But still, even with that seat back a little bit further than I would normally have it adjusted to, I still have a ton of knee room, a ton of leg room. And uh, up here, I got plenty of headroom. I'm five foot nine, like I mentioned, uh, but I'm gonna leave that door open for lighting's sake. You can set a Deer Park water bottle down in there. You can set your phone down in there. You can also set your phone right here as well. You get a nicely padded armrest with some accent colored stitching, automatic up and down window, which is really, really nice on a vehicle in this class. Uh, but right over here, two HVAC vents. You also do get heated outboard rear seats with two levels of adjustability. Opening this up, you will find two USB-A ports. Closing that, uh, you also do get a seat back pocket behind the driver's side seat, seat back pocket behind the passenger side seat, LED dome light right there, a nice grab handle to grab onto if the vehicle or the driver is driving erratically. Um, but Pulling this down, you do also get a center fold down armrest with two cup holders. So that is really, really sweet. Uh, but these seats back here are also just very, very comfortable. Like they've got plenty of padding. Uh, one thing I do wanna show you guys while I am in the rear seats because you get a better view of if I would've showed you guys in the front seats. But I'm gonna scoot over here. And one thing I really like about vehicles like this that do have this option is that you can push this forward and have this like rest your head so you can rest your head back here um, so you don't have to hold your head up on like a long cruise but if you guys don't want it to be holding your head uh, and you just want a little bit more room to like you know put your head back put your head forward push back like this and it will go flat just like that so you can either have it all the way up like that have it back you want it just a little bit you can do that a little bit more you can do that a little bit more you can do that or all the way uh, you can do that as well so I'm gonna that's pretty much all the way and that's all the way back so really really cool i think the passenger side seat does it as well um, so just know that both front passenger side headrests can do that so that is really really awesome but we've talked about the exterior we've talked about the performance and now we've talked about what's going on here in the interior of the outback wilderness so i'm sure you guys want to see what this thing's like to drive as do i so i will see you guys in the driver's seat all right guys and now on to the driving portion of the review and i usually don't start recording right here but i just wanted to mention um it's just how good that this thing rides over this gravel because i've driven a lot of 
uh, SUVs kind of like this uh, over this rocky section and they don't ride nearly as well as this thing rides over that rocky section. I mean, it does have an off-road tuned suspension after all, uh, but I could just really tell that it can really go over um, some gravel very, very nicely. And I know that sounds like something weird to say, oh, it goes over gravel very nicely, but a lot of cars can't, especially cars like in this kind of category. They really kind of ride a little bit too firm over the gravel, whereas this thing does not. It surprised me so much that I started recording the video back there. This is normally where I start filming my videos, but it went over that gravel so well I had to start back there. But I am starting to do a rating going over these speed bumps at five miles an hour. Um, and after I go over the second speed bump, I'll give this vehicle a rating. So it's gotta be at five miles an hour and I'll go over the speed bump and give this thing a rating out of 10. Nobody ever gets a 10, 10 is perfect, it doesn't exist. So let's go back down to like five. Honestly, I give this thing like a seven and a half out of 10. Like I said, nothing will ever get a 10. A nine is pretty much a 10. Um, so seven and a half is extremely good for going over those speed bumps. The suspension is just, I can tell already I didn't take it off-roading. I wish I could, but I can tell that this thing could do pretty dang well on some off-road trails or some off-roads. At the end of the day, this thing is related to the WRX STI. And one time, this is just a funny story that has to do with WRXs, uh, and then I'll get back into this part of the review. But one time, me and my buddy were driving through some back roads, and uh, he was driving because it was his car and he was going a little bit too fast over a jump and uh, we ended up getting air but when we came back down the car soaked up the bump so well i was like okay well this is very very impressive uh so anyway that's how i can kind of relate this back to the wrx sti is that it does have some lineage that is related to the wrx sti so i could definitely see how this thing could do extremely well uh, on some off-road trails and stuff like that it's got plenty of ground clearance 9.5 inches of ground clearance and honestly that kind of ground clearance is what you would find in like an, a truck or something like that so 9.5 inches of ground clearance is a ton of ground clearance for a vehicle like this another thing is that yeah you get 9.5 inches of ground clearance this thing's totally off-road oriented but you know just driving it on these streets i mean it, it it's not too firm it's actually very cushy but it's not too cushy i think on a back road this thing you know it wouldn't handle the greatest but for not handling the greatest on a back road what you do get is just a beautiful ride uh, going down the highway just cruising on your daily driver routine um, just a very very good suspension for daily driving but if you guys do want to take it off-road because you're going camping down in the Shenandoah Mountains, but you got to go on an off-roadish trail to get to the campground, this thing will have will tackle that no problem. This does have the 2.4 liter turbo boxer four cylinder that makes 260 horsepower and 277 pound feet of torque. So it is pretty quick. Uh, it's not like the fastest thing in the world, um, but it is very, very quick. And it does, like I mentioned when we were talking about the interior part of the review when I was talking about this gear shifter right here, is that if I twist it over, or if I push it, excuse me, over to the left, it brings me into like my eight speed automatic mode. Um, so I have these two paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. On the right side is upshift, on the left side is downshift. Um, so it kind of turns it into like an eight speed automated manual transmission. So it'd be like an eight speed automatic, but you can control it through these, but it is a continuously variable transmission. I know that sounds kind of weird, um, but that's the way that it was presented to me. And that's just, that's the way that it works. So we're gonna try that eight speed automatic transmission mode right here real quick. So we'll go in first. Once you get around like, you know, 3,500 RPM, this thing really starts to pull. Um, but at lower RPMs, it doesn't pull the hardest. Uh, but I'm surprised at how quick it is, actually. So, yeah, it's it's actually pretty dang quick, I got to admit. Um, but I am surprised at how quick the paddle shifter response is. So when I downshift, I mean, it's almost instantaneous. So, I mean, I'm honestly, like, pretty shocked at how instantaneous the paddle shifter response is. Yeah, and what, when it was shifting in between gears, you can hear pss, pss. Here, I'll try to catch that on camera. I'll let off. 
yeah I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up but um, it's spool in the turbo and then when I let off it goes pfft, pfft. so that's that's pretty cool that they actually kind of gave you that sound on the interior and that that's another thing that kind of reminds me of the STI so let me downshift one more time I'll give you guys that sound I'm not sure if the GoPro is gonna pick it up because it is a light sound um, so I'm not sure if the GoPro will pick up the pss, the blow off, but it sounds pretty sweet. But I'm gonna put it back into drive. Um, and I just wanted to say, man, this thing rides extremely well. You'd think that, you know, an off-road tuned version of the Outback, you know, wouldn't ride the greatest. It'd probably have like a firm suspension and uh, it's more for off-road. It has like that off-road type suspension, but that is not the case. This thing rides extremely well. It's got some great daily driving manners. Um, it, it just, it rides extremely, extremely well. Um, like going over bumps and stuff like there's one part uh of like the road um on another road but it's like super bumpy the undulations are pretty crazy uh and this thing just soaks it up extremely extremely well so let's do just a regular acceleration right here So it's got good acceleration, but if you guys really kind of want to get into the acceleration, you kind of have to put your foot down a little bit more, you know, just to get like that oomph that you really want. Um, but I know that it's tuned that way for fuel economy. So that is good. So if you guys like fuel economy, uh, you're going to like the way that this thing drives. It's not super eager to go up higher into the RPMs unless you floor it, then it'll, it'll go up into the RPMs. There's a Jeep pulling a jet ski. I'm sorry. That's my dog with a squirrel moment pulling two jet skis rather. So let's see what the handling is kind of like going around this pretty good, but let's give it a little bit of fuel. pretty quick you know i gotta admit it's actually it's pretty quick and for those of you guys who are looking to get one of these you know you want to go off-roading uh but you don't want to get like a jeep you don't want to get a bronco you want something that still has almost the same amount of ground clearance and is still pretty dang capable but you still want something that is going to have great on-road manners then i would say you definitely want to go out and test drive one of these because it's got the rugged exterior look it's very ergonomical you can reach this screen and mess with this screen very very easily like i can go and i can control the screen and go like it's just it's not super far out of reach like some infotainment screens you like kind of have to like lean forward into and touch but this one i mean it's literally like right at the palm of my hand so if i press i mean it's literally just like right there i'm gonna get out of this lane because there's some people walking i guess it's trying to keep a kid on school grounds. I love the nine and three grip. Um, it just feels like a thick steering wheel that you can just really just like manhandle and throw into turns like when you're on the back road. So that is really, really sweet. I'm not sure if the GoPro will pick it up. You have like the satin black mirror caps, but you then have like a shiny piece, just like a, a rectangle that's shiny. It's probably like two inches by one inch. It's right there. That is where you will find your blind spot monitoring system. So if so, somebody comes into your blind spot, that will light up in an amber type of color, let, letting you know that somebody is in your blind spot. So one thing I wanna say to you guys is that if you guys are looking for like one of these cars, man, this thing actually got some really good acceleration when you need it. Like when merging into traffic, <laughs> I mean that acceleration, I was like, dang, okay. This thing's got more than enough acceleration that I need to get into traffic and stuff like that. But uh, one thing I was saying was if you guys are looking at getting like one of these uh, because you want to take it like ripping up the back roads and stuff like that, um, I would say that this thing is probably not the car for you. It probably can rip up the back roads um, like on your way down to like uh, the Skyline Drive uh, before you are going to go off road and then before you guys are going to go off-roading and go camping and stuff like that like it'll it'll rip up a back road a little bit but i don't think that's really where it shines this thing will absolutely shine on a dirt road uh or on a muddy road whatever you whatever kind of off-road kind of thing that you can throw at it it'll even go over some rocks like it's not going to go over some crazy rocks like you would find in moab or something like that but i mean it'll it'll go over the rocks that you need to get over to get to your campground i'm going to do a zero to 60 test before we end off today's video so all we got to do is come to a stop. I'm going to pretty much just mat it. No brake torque in here. Go down to zero and then just floor it from a stop in three, two, 
one floor. And it is, I mean, guys, it is quick, like very, very quick. If you guys go out and test drive one of these and you get up into like that 3000 RPM range, you will feel the push of that 277 pound feet of torque. I mean, you really, it'll give you a nice little push. So acceleration is very, very good. More than enough acceleration to get you guys merged into traffic and for you guys just to have a little bit of fun. See that gravel road right there? That is where this thing would absolutely shine. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video today, please give this video a big thumbs up. Please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think of the 2022 Subaru Outback Wilderness Edition. I am a big fan of it. I think this thing would be really, really awesome to take to a campsite, to camp on top of, uh, to camp inside if that's what you want to do. You guys can pretty much, you know, do any type of adventurous stuff. So if you guys are the adventurous type, then I say I would suggest going and test driving one of these. I think you guys will see exactly what I am talking about. But like I said, that's the end of today's video, guys. If you guys are interested in this Subaru Outback Wilderness Edition, I'll have Mike C's information in the description box down below. But that's the end of today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,